with this young, confident backline around him, with Tommy Bow, Luke Fitzgerald, Rob Carney, that this is maybe going to rejuvenate Brian O'Driscoll, and that's more like it from him, showing all of the skills. Ireland will be cheered by the last line-out. And New Zealand take their time, they know the importance of this. Only 10 metres from their own line. Neil Amu. So Iallo comes to the front holding. and does well again. Cowan. Carney. I cannot green. Garish Falls will have to retreat fast. Ball bounces. Now it's a free shot. Conacher O'Callaghan grabs the ball, makes yards. Side three, three. Keep it on the ball. Well, it pops up to O'Leary again. The inside pass. Oh, a big hit by Jerome Kaino. Oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, leave it green, leave it now, green. And it's turnover ball, the naked aggression of that tackle. Oh. And now there's a chance. McCaw knows there's an overlap. Muliaina. Oh, that's a wonderful tackle by Ronan O'Gara. The covering tackle by the out half. Ma Nonu. Carter for Rocco Thocco. Thocco. Joe gets a ball to David Wallace. What skills by the open side flanker. Tries to get the offload in, doesn't work. So yellow. One turnover leads to another. So yellow will chase his own kick. And Carney will hope that that goes into touch. It does. So play swinging back and forth. It's opening up. Oh, well, I don't know if we're going to see that again, but Ireland very, very nearly cutting New Zealand apart. Such pace and strength on the ball from David Wallace. He just need I don't think Tommy Bow really believed he was going to get that pass. He certainly didn't throw two committed hands at it. in the five. Then the chance goes. Secure ball for Ireland at the line out. They work their way just out of their 22. New Zealand will have the throw. Yes, well, so far, story of the half is. New Zealand rock solid in the set pieces, particularly in the lineup where they've made it very difficult for to, for Ireland to compete even on their own ball. In the contact zone, they've been very, very dynamic as well. Ireland have probably pulled them, put themselves out of the fire on a couple of a couple of occasions with, with turnovers, but most of the pressure on Ireland so far. Not straight. What did you like? Not straight. The long throw from Mialamo towards the tail. Ireland will have the put in 15 metres in field. Shoelace. Stoppage. Well, somebody does their boot up. Well, Philip, it's hairy, scary stuff. It's uh, perhaps strange after the first quarter to see no score. No score and no real pattern to the game either. Um, to be honest, it hasn't settled down after the first 20 minutes. You, you sense that. What New Zealand are trying to do, particularly at line-out time, is just take take a little bit of the, the adrenaline and the pace out of this game, slow things down, particularly when they're in defensive positions, which has been all too rare so far. Ireland's probably want to get a bit more pace into this game, but they need possession, and they've got to get the line-out sorted out because it's quite clear that New Zealand have really done a lot of work on their set pieces. Here's David Wallace. Right, see what you can do. That's all right, sir. Yes, he just... They'll probably look back on that and think maybe I should have held on to Bo really had taken his eyes off that ball when he'd gone past. Didn't think he was going to get the pass. It was a bit of an afterthought from Wallace, but however, they are, New Zealand can be cut open. Ireland do have the pace and they do have the runners to, to get beyond the gain line. They just need possession. Switch on a bit closer with the gaps. Thank you. That's brilliant. First, though, they have to Touch, pause, get again. further upfield than the 22. Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand do love to spin a scrum. 
whether it involves a little bit of pulling on the far side. Mark Lawrence has positioned himself on... No, he's gone back to the other side now. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Very crafty New Zealand. Not much binding going on in that front row there. Advantage off seven. O'Leary gets some sort of pass away. Advantage is being played. Seven off early. Richie McCaw breaking early. O'Leary. Backwards, play on. Play on. Oh, it's all gone terribly scrappy for Ireland. They had three or four chances to sort the ball out then, but Dan Carter comes away with it. Carter loses it. Ball goes clear. Tommy Bow sorts it out. Numbers for Ireland. O'Gara goes on his own. Cowan shrugs him off. Sivivatu. Right, right away there. Green hands off. Let's go as far as to say that this has become an extremely loose game, which presumably suits New Zealand Carter. Oh, Thought he spotted a mismatch against tight forwards. Here is Richie McCaw, the captain. He can't right, get right through. Green. Ireland were given the warning, roll away, they didn't, penalty New Zealand and perhaps... Relax, relax, relax! The no-score situation is about to alter. Well, Jamie Heaslip was given the warning and he just, yeah, yeah. He just lay there. It was given Carter a much easier three-point opportunity. Yes, it's very, very scrappy yeah, and so far Ireland just play. lacked the composure the hand, the full on the ball that, that on, maybe New Zealand have just shaded them on. They're firing quick passes out. Really need to just be a little bit calmer on the ball, take a little bit more time to make the right decision, but yet maintain that intensity as well. Composure and intensity, a difficult combination sometimes. Well, he's pulled that one to the left, and we've come to see this a little bit on the last couple of years from Carter. Nowhere near as metronomic or as consistent as he was in the early part of his career, and that will give Ireland hope because I don't see Ronald O'Gara passing up opportunities like that. O'Gara yet to have a shot at goal, and again, the restart works well for Ireland, and Wallace again does well, picks up. Bouncing ball, and there he is, presenting it for O'Leary. O'Gara. To Muliaina, with Rokovoko screaming up outside him. Rory Best made the tackle on the All Blacks' dangerous fullback. Here's Rokovoko to Sivivato. Sivivato with the strength to get out of the tackles. Good tackle, Roman O'Gara. McCaw, oh, there in support. Scrappy for New Zealand, but they came through off their feet. And it is Paul O'Connell penalised this time. Well, Mark Lawrence is saying, come in OK, but not in from the side. Needs to come in through the gate and not from the side. And again, Ireland in possession, but it's that lack of composure. Lone Rogara's kick was to nowhere. It gave New Zealand back the ball and from the counter. We have another three-point opportunity. Surely Carter won't miss this one. Nothing from two for Dan Carter. This is easier than the last kick, which wasn't at all difficult. Points at last for Dan Carter.